All right, let's jump right into it. This is a part two of my video. We ended last time I showed you how I built a box. This is how I wrapped with leather everything inside. I got a bunch of leather left over from my boat project. I was changing seats. This is a bottom vinyl that I put on, on the floor and you can see the beam on the top. This is how I'm wrapping everything with the leather. It's a, it's a you know, leather for boating. It's gonna be combination of a white and black leather. And now let's think about the siding. Uh, I had a couple of options. A lot of people use this uh, fake fiberglass. Some people use uh, the real fiberglass. You can buy a roll. That it's the real fiberglass that they're using on a big RVs. That was pretty pricey. The first, you know, make a real fiberglass or paint it. That was too messy, and I didn't want to mess with it too expensive so I look up in aluminum and actually it wasn't that expensive so if I bought you know real aluminum sheets in eight by four pieces it was you know it was pretty reasonable and plus it's gonna be the most best looking and very easy for maintenance so that's what I decide so I'm starting cutting the sides I'm using a glue, it's like a construction glue, lactile, three times strength and uh, little nails just to hold it in place but the most, the glue doing all the job and uh, here you can see me, yay happy selfie with the mini camper cutting the hole for the back kitchen door it fitted nicely. This is uh, showing you the glue that I'm using. And this is the hole for the door actually to the camper. I'm leaving the plastic on it until later on I'll remove it. It's turning out pretty good. Looks great. The here we're just looking before I put the last piece on it. And you see that the aluminum goes all the way to the top and uh, the roofing material will be overlapping all that uh, aluminum so that that's what i'll make it uh, completely waterproof i use a little tape to hold it close to the wood so it would dry up completely tight on the boat i bought me on ebay some little stainless steel light 12 volt that gonna, that's gonna go inside and here it's the roofing material it's it's a special material called uh, alpha superflex alpha superflex and like i said there is a 30 year you know warranty on it that is gonna not shrink not crack not uh, change color no nothing very flexible easy to put on completely you know easy to work with it so here we're looking more in detail how I was wrapping inside everything with the leather. It's black leather that I use for both seats and so all the 2x4s I wrapped with the black leather. Here I got the isolation boards from Home Depot. I will use them, wrap them with the leather and use them for siding inside. Here you can see I'm using rocks from a gold river actually you know I got a bunch of rocks around that I bring every time I go to gold rivers I use them like a weight to weigh down the isolation board and leather so on, until the glue dry up so I can use it and we here we have, have a first piece of the isolation with the leather put in the place it's gonna look great the combination black and white it's very nice and it's gonna be isolated here the back side I'm thinking actually that I will have a projector inside, a little mini projector that I can actually project on this big screen from inside. It's gonna be cool, great idea. They're very cheap these days. You can buy a little projector for 50, 60 bucks and I can have actually a big screen inside a mini camper. These little pieces, they will go around the door. So I was a little playing with the curves and gluing everything up so it would actually fit nicely. And this is how it looks like from inside before I put the door there. In the right corner you see actually power box already. I'm planning where I will have my power everywhere. Just 
slowly piece by piece filling all the walls with the isolation and leather on this wall i got a little crazy of an, like an angle so i cut the isolation in an angle so it's gonna be a combination of a, of the black actually and, and the white just make it kind of look a little weird we'll see how that's gonna end up actually here i put the door in sealed it with silicone so there is no leak on it and um, i took a little break i think i have to i did something else i have to move the camper from my driveway so i actually back it up down in my backyard for a couple days and here you can see my dredge diy dredge right on the side of it and here is a little glimpse i order more aluminum this is gonna be the aluminum corners and this is gonna be in a part three i will show you how i put the corners in and how i completely finish it up i really want something heavy duty for the corners and something that will match the toolbox this diamond the uh, aluminum it perfectly matches the toolbox it's gonna look pretty and heavy duty so thank you for watching guys and come for the part three